Albert's with us now. Beautiful weather for us here. A beautiful night ahead, but there are changes ahead too. Starting to turn up the heat little yes. by little. But get this, not too humid tomorrow okay. and Saturday. The humidity will be so low on Saturday that the feel like temperature, yeah. the heat index, actually lower than the actual temperature. How does that work? Uh -huh. It means how dry the air is. That changes those Sunday into Labor Day. So here's what we're tracking. The heat starts to build. We'll get out of the 70s for highs like we were today. We're in the 80s tomorrow, right around 90 on Saturday. But you factor in the heat index, the lack of humidity will feel like 88, but 95 on Sunday. And that's when we're going to start to feel the humidity start to creep on up. And there'll be parts of the area Sunday into Labor Day Monday that we have some heat indices right around 100. Next front doesn't arrive until middle of next week around Wednesday with it a chance of a shower storm and also some cooler and drier air. It's cooling down fast tonight. Michigan City already down to 55 degrees. It's 58 right now in DeKalb. One of the more mild spots midway at 69, but 53 tonight. Joliet upper 40s Aurora and Morris and Ottawa, even Rensselaer in the upper 40s along with LaPorte. We'll stay in the 50s across the city here once again for tonight. About 58 degrees for the low Winnetka, 57 in Elmhurst, Naperville at 55 for tonight, Harvey at 53, Pullman also in the low 50s. So after a cool start, sunshine and a little bit more of a south wind, that's going to allow the temperatures to climb faster than they have the last two days. So we're in the low 70s, feeling nice at 10 a.m., low 80s at 1 o'clock. And then as we head into the late afternoon, we'll top out in the mid 80s, at least here in Chicago, the high at 85. There's a very weak lake breeze in the forecast moving in around 4 p.m. It'll only go a few miles inland, so right around 80 degrees near the lake shore for the rest of us mid 80s in most spots. That changes those we head into the holiday weekend. Here's the bubble of hot air tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Position over the plains and the front range. It is on the move headed this direction. That's why we're in the 90s as we head towards Saturday. That high position just south of us on Sunday. That's when we'll go 95. The southerly winds start to bring in the humidity, so feel hotter than that as we head into Monday Labor Day. 94, but those heat indices anywhere from 97 to about 101, and we remain in the 90s on Tuesday, even though that high begins to back off just a bit. By Wednesday, the high shifts down towards the south. A front moves in. The exact timing on this front not set in stone just yet. We still think we'll be in the upper 80s, but as the front comes in, Afternoon, evening time could come in with a shower, storm middle part of next week, and then we'll get a little bit of cooler air behind it. Nothing frigid, but back in the low 80s, as we head into Thursday of next week. Some models even want to take us into the 70s latter part of the week. So we're dry holiday weekend. We're just heating up. And then as we head towards next week, slight chance of a shower Tuesday, a little better chance for a passing shower storm next Wednesday. Looks pretty nice. Not bad Thanks, at all. Yeah. Mm -hmm.